Hi guys, um, I am going to show you how to turn an image into a coloring page. Now, it's not perfect um, by all means, but um, some people want you know to use Canva. And let's see what we can do with coloring pages. Now, there's all kinds of different ways that people have done it. They've done the mono. They've done um, adjustments. So we're going to go through all of that to see. But um, I came across or I asked someone, ChatGPT for a prompt that might help us in here. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm going to work on this lion first. Okay, I made this, gosh, uh, probably a year ago. Uh, it's cool looking, right? Okay, so I'm going to take out the background just because I want to take out the background. All right. And then um, I'm going to show it three different ways. Okay, let's go ahead and duplicate and duplicate. So all three of these. All right, first one is um, doing the mono. Um, so we're going to go to edit on the menu that's above the image and you're going to go to filters and you're all going to go down all the way to mono right here and you're just going to pick classic all right i'm going to see what ink looks like yeah ink ties that in a bit more all right and um let's see here Okay, so we're going to stay with classic. You can play with the intensity, but since we want black and white, I think we're okay. Um, all right, so, um, and the only reason why I have a, a pink background is I'm showing you what it looks like. Okay, so then if, you know, if you want to keep it like this, that's fine. But there's some other things that you can do to um, get some adjust it some more and it's called adjust right above the magic studio all right so um we are going to turn contrast way up and then we're going to go down to saturation go all the way down okay and then um if you want to do the brightness a little bit you can do that all right, so there's that. Okay, so that's the first one, okay? And that's just by going to mono and doing the adjustments. All right, now let's go to the next one. And this one, we are going to do just the adjustments, okay? And we're going to go up to here. We are going to go me, contrast all the way up saturation all the way down and then we are just going to play with the brightness okay so we have that so somewhat similar right get a little bit more uh, not as like you get more uh, details in this one Okay, now this is the one that um, I'm going to use my prompt for. Okay, so you're going to go up to edit and you are going to go to magic edit. Are you going to go to magic studio? Then you can go to magic edit. And yes, this is and do the brush at 100 and you're just going to brush this whole thing. Okay, and then I will put the um, prompt in. Um, in the description in the video. All right. Okay, so what said, please turn this color image into a black and white coloring uh, page with clear, bold outlines and high contrast. Remove any shading, gradients to focus on, making it easy to color in. Okay, so this is Magic Edit. It gives you four options. Let's see what it does. Okay, 
So that, let's grab this one. I'm just going to do yes. I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to go done. And then I am going to go up to adjustment. I'm going to go contrast all the way up. Saturation all the way down. And then play with the brightness again. And there you go. So then I'm going to put them all together. You see, let's move. Okay, so I feel like this, the third one we did, took out a lot of the shading that, as you can see right there. Okay, so I would pick this one. Um, and then I probably picked that one and that one. So let's try another one. Okay. All right, we're going to add a page. And let's go ahead and do this one. This seems very like complex. So let's go ahead and just put a lot. Okay. All right. Let's make this, this is really cool. This would be a really cool coloring page. All right, so let's let's do the three ways and then we'll pick. All right, or I'll pick. Okay, so first one we're gonna do is um, the mono. We are gonna go down to filters. Okay, and then we are gonna go um two adjustments and we're gonna go contrast up we are gonna go saturation all the way down and then we're gonna work on this brightness and let's see here i don't know if this one really worked with this this one so i i don't think this one was good for this okay oh shoot um, let's go here again. All right. Now the next one, let's just do the adjustments. So we're going to go edit, adjust, this is without the mono, okay? We are going to go contrast all the way up, saturation down, and so then that, that looks good. And then we'll take the little brightness to see if we can brighten up some of those, maybe take out the, play with the shadows and get the shadows out of it, take out some highlights. So you can play with these, of course, okay? Let's see here, whites, so that makes it really too white. And go down a little bit, there we go. Okay, so we have that one, okay? Now our third one, the magic edit in prompt. All right, so we're going to go edit. We are going to go to magic edit right here. Magic studio, magic edit. Okay. And then we are going to do the whole image. Ah, okay, down here. And then we're going to put in that um, prompt. And you, you can put any prompt that you in here. Um, this seemed to work okay for me. Um, we'll try and that too. So, um, it's going to generate. It doesn't take too long. Oh, so then it gives you the, um, four from always has to have that color on that last one, huh? All right. So that one isn't too bad. You can still color that one, you know. Uh, probably works too. I like this one because it gives a little bit more um, high, highlight. So let's go ahead and just keep that one. Okay, so that looks decent. Okay, so yeah. Um, but Let's go ahead and edit this a little bit. We did the other one. And adjustments, contrast, that, and then brightness. Yeah, no. Okay, I'm going to not do that and maybe 
just the brightness a little bit go down to play with that a little bit. So we can kind of keep that like that, I think. And then just maybe work on the brightness a bit. Okay, so let's see here. Let's go up. So, yeah, number one is not my favorite. Number two is okay. Uh, number three, I feel like it's probably the best bet. Oh, wow. Um, I was like, how did I get so large? There we go. All right, so... Hmm. I think this one is better for coloring. All right, we're going to try one more prompt and then I promise we're done. Okay, I'm going to grab the other prompt. Because the other one is just real simple. Let's go ahead with the basic one right here. All right, gonna go back. Blah. All right. Now let's do magic edit. We're gonna brush the whole thing. All right. I'm going to put in that prompt. And this one says, transform this color, black and white, suitable, precise, clear, clean lines, and high contrast, capturing only without shading. So pretty much the same, but not so wordy. So let's see. Color. Ha, it did. Okay, so, okay. Um, this one actually turned out better. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's a nice little, that would be a nice coloring page right there. Okay. All right. So I think we got it. I will put both prompts in the video description. And there we go. All right. Have fun. Now, remember, not every image is going to, you know, turn into a coloring page. But give it a try. I showed you three different ways you can do it, and you might have to use one or all of them. Um, so, there you go. All right. Thank you.